This is what a second officer's job looks like. I am second officer trainee Chantala Guhar. The opportunity to explore and to travel new places while working closed the deal for me. And of course, the promise of financial stability. Back on my first contract as an OS, somebody told me to my face that I wouldn't last seven years on board. He said I'd probably get pregnant or get married or work ashore or stop sailing eventually. I did not respond. I countered through my actions and in time, I rose above it. At this time, I am now a second officer and on my eighth year on board. Being a second officer on board means being the navigating officer. Basically, I lay out the routes so that the vessel can navigate safely from point A to point B. I'd say having to work double time and the need to constantly prove that I can do just as much or even more than a regular male seafarer can do is the greatest challenge by far. The IMO initiative to empower women and break down the gender barrier in the maritime sector definitely changed the tide for us. It used to be a hostile environment on board, intimidating as I may say. But now, empowered women are leading the industry and are assuming top rank positions. Maternity leaves are in place and work-life balance are being constantly discussed. To me, this means that the maritime sector is definitely changing for good. A career at sea may seem impossible for a woman. But if you take a step closer, it's not as unachievable as it may seem. It is possible. Especially now that the industry has acknowledged and embraced our presence. Let us make the most out of it. Women make shipping better. We are she-worthy.